Welcome back to Weatherbug here on a Monday. Todd Nelson with a look at your national coast to coast forecast. Hope you had a great weekend. We're going to be talking more about thunderstorm activity, which would bring us some severe weather potential and also some flooding rains. Here's a look from Wisconsin over the course of the weekend. Flooded out roadway there and those temperatures have cooled down rather dramatically from what we were dealing with last week across the Midwest and the Northeast. That is good. Yesterday we were into the 70s and 80s. Still some heat in the central and southern plains and also back west talking about some 90s and triple digit heat. So yesterday we were a little bit below average in parts of the middle Mississippi Valley and today around average. But look at Denver. 10 to almost 15 degrees above average. So this big dome of hot air is still in place in the west. We have this trough of low pressure moving in with several cold fronts that will be sweeping through that will help to drop our dew points even more. But the only spot dealing with a heat advisory now is northwestern Nevada. All of those heat advisories that were in place in progress last week in the Midwest and the Northeast have been allowed to expire. So here are those cold fronts. We've got another one moving through the Midwest. We'll talk about that in a second. But look at this area of uh, low pressure spinning around parts of the Southwest, and that's uh, could be leading to some flash flooding. And these areas shaded in green, flash flood potential, and also throughout parts of the Ohio Valley there through the day today. Storm report map from yesterday showing a number of wind, hail, and a few isolated tornado reports. And again, we're going to be watching this next front kick out some severe weather potential from the Midwest, northwestern Wisconsin, all the way down to Nebraska. Hail and high winds, the primary threat, but an isolated tornado can't be ruled out. Look at the eastern third of the nation over the next three days, pockets of one to two plus inches of rain. And over the next five days, the central part of the country could get two to four inches of uh, rainfall there. But again, the Northeast, not quite as hot this week versus what we had last week.